Good day, y'all. Mr. Chapelet with Chapelet Homestead. We're gonna let the girls out, so we're gonna get her on video. They're always happy to come outside. <clears throat> I'm bringing in some old lettuce I had. So if you guys dodged the snowstorm that some people got today, we didn't get anything. So as you can see, the sun's just going down right now. set up until you guys are done eating. I'll stay off of it. Alright, so let's get some eggs. I see one on the ground. One down there. See where the feed is right now. So there. So that's three days. So not too bad. We're about three and a half days, almost four days extra on top of our four to five days in our regular feed. So we got maybe a little bit more than what I expected. All these smokes were look at how spongy the ground is. That's going to be some nice for the garden. Real soft. It's not going to be fun to dig out, but I'll show you guys uh, my technique with the with the scraper. Well, we only got one egg up here today. Not very good. They drink all that water in 
it's only been like a couple days. Lots of action in the, in the nesting box. Oh, there was a cat right here. Kitty. I was thinking one of my next uh, things I might do is cut a hole through this wall just for another chicken uh, door so I can use this pen so when the meat birds get processed uh, the hens can have all access to the front and the roosters can too if I let them so I can kind of maneuver my coop around in different ways we gotta get get these birds before they wander off too much. Get back. Come on, go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Get up there. She's always the last one that's a little silky. <laughs> now I gotta get the eggs from inside of the nesting box. Bring me up here. Oh, we got one. So, 
Kind of nice having this uh, see-through because you can really just gauge where it's at every day. I mean, if you don't have as many birds as I do, or if maybe you have more than I do and you fill up your feed more than I do, so. All right, well, we'll take the camera in and I'll show you uh, the broodies real quick. She's like, leave my egg alone. If I was to pick a broody hen, it would be either that Brahma or this white one, because the white one's very, very nice. She's always just laying on like one or so eggs, or none. That one over here. That's like a nice little round egg. And this brown one, she has me nervous because she always pecks me sometimes. I don't know what's going on with them. They're not, uh, not much eggs today. I only got four eggs. Where's the rest of them? <laughs> and they go through the wood shavings in the box like crazy, too. Like, I always put lots of wood shavings in there, and it's definitely the most shavings I've had in my coop in a long time. All right, well, whatever. We'll just leave them there. Four it is, I guess. All right. I'm gonna clean this coop out soon because uh, you can start to it starts to smell really bad. Well, that's it for now, I guess. That's disappointing. Four eggs isn't very good. Pretty soon I'll be able to. Bring all my, uh, well, I can bring it over anytime, really, but uh, I'm, I'm just letting it on thaw a little bit more, but it's uh, the bedding inside the coop, so maybe this weekend that will be my chore for this weekend now that i got a whole bunch more new wood shaving bags. Do a spring cleanup. All right, y'all. Have a good one. Cheers. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Hit the little bell. That'll uh, send you a notification of when I make videos. Gardening 2024, just around the corner, stay tuned.